What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Before I move forward, as always, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're a viewer, hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with my latest content. With that out of the way, let's get started to this really interesting unboxing. So this particular unboxing comes from an overseas uh, sneaker site or sneaker boutique, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it is called, let me try to remember, this one is called particularly JD Sports. Here's the receipt of it. This is the JD Sports receipt. Uh, one of the first things I want to say, guys, about JD Sports, when you order from them, they do not double box. And they don't keep in mind that this is going to be going for days to its destination. So by the time I got the box, it was a quite a little bit of damage. As you can see on the top of the box, it's kind of, obviously they threw heavy items on top of this box. The lid is kind of, you know, indented in. It was like slam. And then right here you have this crease. And on the bottom you see it, it suffered a lot of the damage right here. So the way they ship is pretty much JD Sports just wraps this thing up in like a plastic shipping thing. And then they just throw a big old shipping label on it for customs. But in my opinion, I just hope that, because uh, I do have another pair I doubled up on these, I just hope that my other pair has a decent box just like this one. Because this is pretty bad damage, but it isn't as bad as, you know, it's still acceptable. But uh, just just kind of like a little bit of a mini rant before I start on this review. So as you can tell from this box, obviously we have an Ultra Boost Adidas box. Uh, nothing too fancy, guys. These shoes uh, have it not dropped in the United States. They're going to drop on April 13. There are some sites and sneaker boutiques overseas that are slowly dropping them. But this was the first that I heard that had dropped them. And so I had a cop right away. I caught these for retail with a discount that GD Sports was doing. So enough of that. Let's get started. So today we are doing the review on the Wabam Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 Klima in a triple black colorway. And this is a U.S. size 10.5, and uh, suggested retail price for these in the states is going to be 200. I actually got these for 200 because of the discount code that JD Sports was, you know, allowing us to use on these new drops. So shout out to JD Sports because of that. But um, you guys got to work on your shipping and packaging. <laughs> um, anyways, when you open up the box, we do see a QC sticker there. You see this right here. This is wrapping paper. And then here is the first shoe, guys. This is the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 Klima in the triple black colorway. There are other colorways dropping, and I will name the colors that will drop here in a second. Let me just give you guys a kind of like a little bit of a 360 here. Very nice shoe, guys, overall. I love the colorway. I'm a fan of all black. I'm a fan of different material usage, and this one definitely uses quite a little bit of a different prime knit pattern and just you'll see here in a little bit you just really gotta have it to appreciate it so these I want to say they the sizing is a little tricky uh, I usually wear a nine and a half that's my true size but for these I would say the max you can go up highest is probably like a size 10 a 10 and a half is usually what I go on the 4.0 so I was like you know what let me just go with a 10 and a half but um, I, I feel like it's a little bit too too uh too loose on me especially around the ankles right here it's a little too loose but not too much but still you know I, I feel like a 10 is probably the highest I could go with these and I will tell you why in a little bit shortly but anyways so these retail for 200 well, this is the Klima Ultra Boost 4.0 they are dropping in other colorways they're dropping in a all gray colorway and then they're dropping in an all white colorway that's already available on some sites overseas but I'm not a fan of all white uh, so I decided to go with a triple black the retail price is 200 as I mentioned previously. Uh, grow true to size. You should be good with these true to size. Maybe go up half a size if, if anything. If you do hear background noise, guys, my phone, I did leave it in the kitchen table, so it's kind of vibrating. So <laughs> if you do hear, like, you know, notifications, that's my phone. But, um, so, yeah, one of the first things that we notice is this is the Klima version of the Ultra Boost. And, you know, Adidas is constantly looking to renov uh, renovate, you know, uh, come with new technology with their classic silhouettes like this ultra boost and one of the first things I noticed uh, One of the first things I noticed that was this cage right here guys is actually has perforations um, And I think those perforations were added because of the name of itself Klima Klima means in Spanish like weather 
and then Klima Cool is kind of like a nod that this design is, you know, paying homage to the Klima Cools for, uh, you know, better breathability with the perforations that it had. And this is what I feel like they're going for, especially since it's the summer season. They're looking to, you know, improve their silhouettes to appeal to the summer vibes. And that's why you see a lot of these perforations around the toe box and the toe box overlay. The holes there, you can really see the shoe tree. So the cage kind of adds that element of better breathability for your feet um, when you're walking or whatever you're doing when you're wearing these. So that's a nice little touch. And it's... It's pretty light. The cage is very thin. You can almost, you can literally see my finger on the other side of the cage. So very thin cage. Um, on this side, you can see it very well. You see all those perforations. So it has a perforated uh, cage there, which is very nice in all black. The toe box. Let me show you guys the toe box. is one of my favorite parts of the shoe as well. So this toe box is very elastic, even more so than the 4.0. So this is a lot more comfortable than the 4.0s. Um, than the regular 4.0, sorry. This Klima version of a prime knit. You see all those huge perforations there around the toe box. Very nice. Then you see a little bit of kind of like white hints right there. And you can really see them on the toe box overlay. It has like sort of this speckled white there. Not sure exactly why they did that. They should have just thrown 3M on it. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Hit that like button if you think 3M would have looked nice on this. I feel it would have. But, um... This is for the first time that they uh, Adidas has done this on Ultra Boost, but if you look closely here around the shoelace toe box, it actually has perforations as well. It has holes there that you can really see there. So that's really nice. That's something different that they added for like when you're running or walking, your feet aren't constantly sweating um, during the summer. And then the laces are flat black laces with white aglets. The white aglets, I assume, go to complement kind of like the white speckles on the toe box. And then there's some more on the back that I will show you. The tongue here has the Adidas branding there and that 3M reflective labeling there. The inside of the shoe has your regular nylon type um, mesh cushioning there. And then the boost insole there and all black, which I love a lot. Uh, what else, guys? Oh, here around the... The ankles, you see a little bit of those speckled white, um, you know, knitting there. So that's a little bit different. Um, and that's pretty much it. The heel cup is all black, which I really like too. They kept it all black. And it's more of the modern day laser type uh, heel cups there. So you can see it's not the smooth ones. Although I, I miss the smooth one, guys, like the 3.0 type ones. I miss those. Um, but yeah, one of the main things is the perforations on the cage here around the shoelace box. And then here on the toe box as well, a lot more breathability, a lot lighter, and very, very light compared to a regular Ultra Boost 4.0. Um, it looks very classy in my opinion. It looks very, uh, I don't know, very nice. It just looks very nice. I like that they're changing up their newer silhouettes. Um, and it has the triple black boost there, which we all love. We don't have to worry about cleaning that as much as, you know, just a regular boost. Um, we have these tags here, all these tags right here, Continental and Ultra Boost Klima right there. Uh, what else? The outsole, guys, is your regular outsole. Um, so as you can see, it's your regular outsole in black, Continental, rubber outsole, torsion system there and that, like, you know, aqua there, aqua color there. And then the all-white boost there. Um, so, yeah, what do you guys think about these? I think they're pretty nice. Um, let's get a thumbnail. Very, very nice shoe. I'm going to try to get another one. Hold on, give me a second. Super, super nice shoe. These come out April 13th in the States. There might be some sneaker boutiques that might have these a little bit earlier. But like I said, retail price on these is going to be 200 I believe. Um, very well worth it. This is honestly... I know yesterday I said that I think my favorite Ultra Boost is probably those like cream... Uh, chalk ones the cream pearl ones um, but I think these take it for now these are definitely my number one pick um, so far of 2018 of the Ultra Boost 4.0 uh, run up um, so I think these are very nice um, definitely if you have a chance of getting this cop them if you're a fan of Ultra Boost and all black these are um, do not sleep on these these are gonna sell out I assume but uh, with that being said I think these are pretty similar to the perforations that we saw on the Amama Nair, the all white ones, they're pretty similar to that. Um, I just want to throw that in there last. Hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe, follow me at Naptown Sneaker Reseller. Um, and on these, I would give these a 10 out of 10. Everything I really like about it, um, 
have no complaints about it, to be honest. So they did a good job. Shout out to Adidas. You guys are doing good with these so far. Uh, and we will see you guys. With that being said, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.